Dear Professor and all of the audience, my name is Denisa Selikotang Sambat and my student ID is 6202 and Right now, I'm studying at Faculty of Architecture at KMITL. I'm pleased to be here to show you about my first project, Saran Saran. Let's see! Saran Saran is the name of this house. Saran is mean house in Thai mini and Saran is from Samran in Thai words mean happy, comfort and relax. I want to make sure that this house can make people who live near have happiness and feel relaxed with design of the building and landscape. First of all, I would like to tell you about the concept of my house. I was born in Northeast in Thailand, then I am really absorbed this culture. I would like to suggest what I have absorbed and put it into this house by choosing very good and missing red brick. This house has three users. They are father, mother and daughter. Father is a university professor and architect. Mother is a bank employee and the daughter is a student of the Faculty of Architecture. Father needs a special teaching area and the office next to each other. Mother needs more than one parking space because she has the private car and a position car and must have space to park the motorbike for the driver. Daughter needs a private bedroom to relax from studying at the university and want to have a lot of tree in this house. The area of the site is 825 square meters. The remaining space under the construction is 600 meters. The total area of both house is 221.4 square meters and 9 square meters of waterfront pavilion. Which can calculate the construction cost from the middle price is 2,600,000 baht. This price is for the Bangkok area only. This is bubble diagram of the house. I have to divide the house area into three main zones. These are public zone, semi-public zone, and private zone. The public zone is the zone for guests who come to study or contact for work. The semi-public zone is the zone where relatives or close guests come to eat or do activities together in this zone. Private zone is the private area for relaxing. The area of the house has the central open space for the family in order to share space like the culture of the Isan people. Increase the context of Isan house by making the patio in front of the house for socializing or can do various activities together and connecting the common areas of the house with private space together. For the first elevation, in elevation A, I want to show the house for who comes. In this elevation, you will see the facade and texture of the texture that is bricks, wood and bamboo. The fenestration emphasizes the importance of the main house by raising the height of the main house by providing the front porch to look like a guest room before entering the house and connecting the common areas of the house with private space together. In elevation C, I'm providing the back porch along the canal in order to get close to nature and be a recreation. I have planting the trees in the waste for the afternoon shade and I mix the window with modernity combined with wooden door that were an old-fashioned design together. In elevation B, this elevation is close to another side, then I want to have feel private, so I don't want to open the wine too much and give the same window size to be organized, but I'm adding features by sticking out both bedrooms in order not to make the house look too smooth. In elevation D, you will see all of the three buildings. I've put a gesture 
into this building. The landscape is the implementation of tropical gardening. You can see that the area of the garden is quite large because the house is small. In order to have a garden area to relax and grow vegetables to eat, I designed a walkway in the garden to look from the floor plan and then you can see the circle shape. I want to link these two buildings together by this shape. What I have learned from this project? The first thing that I have learned is I know how to plan and manage time to get a forest and where to be on time. The second thing is what should I do and shouldn't do for how to do the project. And the third thing is I have learned more about module cutting technique, what I did it wrong and shouldn't do for the next time. The fourth thing is I know that I don't understand too much about house construction causing that I didn't dare to create a house with a new design. This is what should I study more. And the last thing is this work has given me a lot to learn by myself because no one can help me do it at home. And finally, I want to say thank you to Master Oshkon, who so way teach and suggest me. And thank you to my mom and my dad, who always support me in everything. And thanks for watching my video.